Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. And if you are new here, hi, my name is Minzy. Here on my channel, we talk a lot about fragrances. I love sharing and connecting with you guys through my olfactive journey or just by anything that I truly enjoy. So if that sounds like something you enjoy watching, please consider to subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss out any of my videos in the future. All right guys, I am back at you again with another very exciting videos. And like I promised you guys in my last video, my haul video, biggest haul, most epic haul ever. If you guys haven't watched that video, please check it out because I have, I have a lot of amazing fragrances that I just acquired for the last couple months. So yeah, check out that video. But again, today we have an exciting video for you guys. I'm going to do a first impressions or a semi first impressions for BDK Passessoir, the x-ray version. Yes, guys, the day has come. So we're going to talk about this new release from BDK. And I know we're all excited for this fragrance because I know a lot of you guys love Passessoir the original one, so we cannot wait to dive into this version. But first, let me show you the box. And here is BDK Passessoir, the X-Tray version. I haven't unboxing this fragrance yet, because like I said, I want to do it with you guys in front of the camera. So let's do it right now. I love the feeling of unboxing a new fragrance. Nothing beat that feeling, you know? Whew. All right, guys, it's so hard to take off this sleeve but we finally made it and here is the bottle <sighs> oh my god look at this guys when i saw this bottle online immediately immediately i think to myself that is a gorgeous bottle let me show you again here is the bottle of Passessoir X-Ray. Just look at this color. This scream sexy for me. You know, we still have that signature bottle from BDK, but with such a sexy color. <sighs> all right, all right, all right, all right. All right. All right, guys, I am going to give you the notes and the main accords of this fragrance before we spray it and sniff it together. So the main accords of Passessoir X-Ray, we have fruity, warm, spicy, sweet, white floral, citrus, woody, amber, musky, fresh, and powdery. And this was created by Violaine Collas and was launched this year 2023 we all know top notes we have ginger mandarin orange pear black pepper and cacao pot middle notes we have quince moroccan jasmine orange blossom peach base notes we have cashmere indonesian patchouli leaf and broxen vanilla and benzoin now let me spray this fragrance on a blotter and we will talk about it. Now let's talk about the first two times I smelled this fragrance at the store. The first time I smell it at Lucky Sen, the Sen Bar in LA. And the second time I smelled this fragrance was at Zijo Perfumery just last week. And I gotta say that the first two times when I smelled this fragrance, 
I got a lot of medicinal patchouli right up the batch which is very interesting to me because patchouli was is a note that listed in base notes of this fragrance but right away my nose picked up that note and please keep in mind that my nose was kind of tired at the time when I was at these two store today my nose are still fresh and new so I actually picked up something different than the last two times I first smelled this fragrance now when I first spray this fragrance the first thing I smell in the opening is the black pepper it's a very spicy black pepper and it's very very prominent spicy black pepper and it's just give a kick to the opening of this fragrance and I quite like it and if you don't know I actually really dig into black pepper, black pepper notes in perfumery recently after baby cat after Turo from Nishane I feel like black pepper smell amazing in the perfumes it's really at a lot more character and depth to a fragrance when we have black pepper and then of course we also have that beautiful spicy zingy ginger in the opening I feel like that black pepper and the ginger go together really really well to give that beautiful spicy opening to this fragrance and again I right away even though I smell more things in the opening of this fragrance I now can smell the the patchouli but it's less it is less medicinal it is less dry than the last two times that I smell this fragrance now if you have been following me for a while you know that I'm not a big fan of the original one the Passe original there's nothing wrong with this fragrance it's just not my style to me it's a little bit too sweet for my taste and I do love sweet fragrance but the sweetness in the in the original one kind of give me a headache because it's give me this very sweet and warm and laundry vibe and it's just too sweet and floral for my taste the first um, the original version and I can tell you that I actually prefer this version much better than the original which is really really surprising because when the first two times when I smell this fragrance I actually prefer the original but now that I smell it again I revisit it and smell it here with you guys I actually prefer this version and the reason why I picked this fragrance though is actually my husband really really love this fragrance this DNA he already loved the original one and right away when he smelled this fragrance in store he fell in love with this version and it's actually smell really really good on his skin now keep in mind that my husband is very simple he's not a guy that's into fragrances at all but somehow this DNA really really got him and I noticed that my husband really liked fragrances that smell a little bit more femme but anything that smell more femme smell really really nice on him in fact it doesn't smell feminine on his skin it smell more sensual and sexy on his skin compared to mine again I picked up this fragrance mostly because of my husband I think it smelled really good on him of course I'm gonna wear it because I know he likes it but I think it smells sexy on him I think that beautiful medicinal dry patchouli notes in here really make this fragrance more character more depth more weight and much much more unique the sweetness is still there but the patchouli is just tones it down a notch and give this again more character 
yes, we have a pretty big dose of truly in here. I definitely picked up that note. So if you don't like patchouli, maybe give this fragrance a try before you decide to buy this fragrance because I can definitely smell it in here. But again, it is just mesh really well. So it's mixed really well with other notes in here. I personally don't smell cacao in this fragrance. Other notes, I can smell it. I smell all the white floral, like the jasmine, the orange blossom. I smell the peach in here. I smell the vanilla, the patchouli, the ginger, the black pepper. Not the cacao note. I would say this is a sweet, floral, woody fragrance. Very warm, very amber too. <sighs> this is pack a punch, guys. And to me, this fragrance is potent. But on the skin though, on the skin, I feel like on my husband's skin, it's cool. It's not like in your face, it still have that sensuality. But yeah, I, I really like it. If, I feel like if you love the original one, you will also love this fragrance, this version. Just be mindful that there is a definitely prominent patchouli note in here. I can smell it. So if you don't like patchouli, you can also definitely pick up this note in here. So be mindful of that. But other than that, I think it's a very pretty, a solid, versions a solid release from the house of bdk i will have to go back and update you guys because i want to wear this fragrance for a full wear test before i form my um, complete thought but for my first impressions i think it's a good one um, again i prefer this one more than the the original versions would it be for me completely still not you know if I have to pick between all, among all the creations from BDK, Cree Chanel would be my forever love. And I did not even like this fragrance at first, but now it's in my top favorites from the house of BDK. Overall, for the first impressions, I liked it. Give it a thumbs up, it is a big like. Not sure if it's a love, I have to wear it and I will update you guys. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoy my very short first impressions of this fragrance. Please let me know if you guys try this fragrance. If you want to try this fragrance out, CGO Perfumery actually offer decant sample of this fragrance so you can check it out on their website. And you can also wait until I have my discount code with Zijo Perfumery to purchase this fragrance because I know this is a pretty pricey fragrance. So if you want to purchase it, maybe you can wait until I have my discount code with Zijo and then I will for sure share with you guys. But yeah guys, that's it for my video. Again, thank you so much for watching my video today and I will see you guys next time. Bye.